Black Americans make up 6% of California's population. Now remember that number, 6%. That's because the Public Policy Institute of California explains this population is overrepresented in terms of criminal justice and even COVID-19 cases, but they're underrepresented when it comes to education and wealth. Here's lead researcher Magnus Lofstrom. But we need to think about this from a broader perspective, and, and that is, how can we actually reduce these inequities? Although black Americans represent 6% of California's population, they make up 16% of all arrests, 25% of the jail population, and 29% of the prison population. We spoke with Richard Owen. He is a community leader here in Sacramento, focusing on issues from criminal justice to education. We're pulling a scab off of a sore here. You can't just look at the criminal justice system. You have to look at the entire system. The pandemic is further highlighting these inequities. State health numbers show that black Californians are roughly twice as likely to die from COVID-19 when compared to white Californians. No, it's not surprising because we have the highest number of the underlying conditions and we have the least access to quality health care. The report also found the wealth of a California family varies greatly. The median wealth of a white family in California, eight times greater than the median wealth of a black family. And you build wealth and you pass it on to your kids, but if you don't have any wealth to pass on, then everybody for themselves. Finally, the report found these disparities start young. In fourth grade, twice the percentage of white children met English standards when compared to black children. And that number is more than double when it comes to math standards. Now that we're in a pandemic and there's distance learning, there's a concern that these inequalities are just being exacerbated. So when you have an educational system that's failing them, when you have lack of economic opportunity and growth in their communities, combined with this police treatment, I mean, it explains why people are so mad and so upset and so angry. In Sacramento, Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.